HDPE, high density polyethylene. What is it? Well, it's number two on the bottom of your container and today we're gonna to learn about it. Many people don't understand the plastic numbering system found at the bottom of your plastic container. HDPE is known for its high density to strength ratio and is one of the most versatile plastics out of the seven categories. You can find HDPE in a lot of household chemical containers due to its chemical resistant. Um, you can also find it outdoors a lot, so outdoor water tanks, uh, fuel tanks, um, plastic chairs are often made out of HDPE. And a lot of food containers are also uh, made with HDPE as well. Some advantages of HDPE is that it's very affordable and it's very strong. This is why a two ounce milk jug can easily hold a gallon of milk without the worry of it cracking or breaking under pressure. Many car makers or vehicle manufacturers are actually using HDPE to use in their new fuel tanks for its lightweight and high strength capacity. HDPE is often used for outdoor water tanks or underground water systems. It is very resistant to mildew, rotting, insects, and different types of elements. HDPE also has really amazing durability and is also resistant to many chemicals. This is why many chemicals that you use in your household are gonna be packaged in an HDPE bottle. At last, relative to other plastics, HDPE or number two on your recycling bottle is very easy to recycle uh, relative to other plastics. Like I said, HDPE is used for a lot of outdoor materials. So you do have to make sure that is well maintained and checked up upon as it can crack under pressure over long periods of time. Like other plastics, it is also extremely flammable. HDPE is also not easily biodegradable or not compostable, which is why it is vital that when you do have something made out of number two plastic, that you do ensure that it is recycled. I hope you understand HDPE a little more now, and if you need help selecting your plastic or need help with injection molding, hit us up at plasticonplastics.com.